life and living with limited heat, hot water, and electricity for the last week. I think it's a shame. It's an unfortunate. Activist Samantha Johnson finally watching power get restored around 6.30 Sunday night. <laughs> Mothers and children were crying. It was really a, a, a moment to just sit and, and know that it's possible when people come together. A fire in the switchgear room is being blamed for the partial power outage, which first came to light Thursday amid below freezing temps. Many family members hoping to get inside today after also being left in the dark. I haven't spoken to my husband for a whole week. I don't know nothing. I don't know if he ate. I don't know if he's freezing. City call amid below freezing temps. Many family members hoping to get inside today after also being left in the dark. I haven't spoken to my husband for a whole week. I don't know nothing. I don't know if he ate. I don't know if he's freezing. City Comptroller's Park. I haven't spoken to my husband for a whole week. I don't know nothing. I don't know if he ate. I don't know if he's freezing. City Comptroller Scott's